The views and opinions expressed on any program are those of the persons appearing on the program and do not necessarily reflect the views and opinions of the New Media Factory. Some programs on this network might include strong images and language and may not be suitable for all audiences. Viewer discretion is advised. Everybody get up. Hey guys, welcome to the Girls of 28A. It's Julia and you're gonna be here with Trisha and I. I'm walking through school right now like a crazy lady talking to a phone. That's how much I love you guys. Um, tonight's gonna be a great episode. It's our last one of season two, so we're just gonna be recapping all of our favorite episodes. Um, you know, to relive some good times, but I will just segue right on into our host picks, so check this first one out. Gaga, five minutes. Ready, Freddy! All right, I am back indoors. I am such a fast walker. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. I got it off of Vine. I'm a bit late to the Vine bandwagon, but apparently YouTube is super over. So, uh, you know, I think we got a real glimpse into the life oh, of Lady Gaga goodness. now. We know how she uh, chooses her outfits. Anyway, Trish, my videos are funny and I'm younger and I'm more in tune to the millennial generation, so you really shouldn't go bagging on my videos, but anyway. Oh gosh, Julia. Hi guys. I blinked and I missed that video, Julia, so that's why I bagged your videos. I didn't even know what the video was about. All I heard was Gaga and then she was gone. I looked down, I looked up, and then I was looking at you again, so... Anyway, yeah, so as Julia said, we are here. We are on our last episode for the season. So what we're going to do, because it's just me all on my lonesome in the studio, because Mariana Hanud, who is our new co-host for the next season, is um, on a photo shoot still. So we are going to go straight into some clips. What we've basically done is Julia and I have just compiled a few of some of our best of, as she said. So we are going to first check out Kim Jones. He asked you out to go surfing. I mean, he's a very well-known actor. At that stage, were you just like, what the fuck? Jerry Kurosawa just asked me out on a freaking date. Yeah, did you and know you're like, who he was? this girl from Australia yeah. and... I Googled him. <laughs> of course. But then, like, my friends were, my friends were like, you know, just, oh, do you know who he is? And I was like, well, I don't know. Like, and I, I, I wasn't... I sort of went into it, like, a little bit hesitant mm. because I wasn't sure if, like I mean you're not I mean every time you go out you know we're always asked about each oh, other so he, so. Uh, or what about when I is he such a big star that if you go out to the grocery store if you go out to the movies do people like flock you guys for pictures and autographs and is it yeah, that he, yeah, level yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. did yeah, that affect you asked. in any way it took a while you? to get used to it I'll be honest it took a while to get like used how long to it. are we talking about I mean well now I'm used to it. Okay. But like, it, it's it's interesting because you you go it can't go certain places. I mean he wants to, but oh, what like where just, where can he not go? I I've never like if he went to he couldn't go to Green Hills. I mean he okay. would want to go to okay. Green Hills and stuff like that, but it would just be really hard for him just to walk around. It really would. Okay. Like, um, I think it would be quite. I'm sure it was quite endearing for him. You not growing up in Manila and not actually knowing an awful lot about his career and yeah. to you he was just another dude yeah, who just... we all have our fears and our worries about of does he like me for me or does he like me because of this or does he like me because of that and and whatever so that would have been quite refreshing for him yeah. I'm sure Julia and I are the same mm -hmm. you know we're not from here we don't know all the big celebrities and stars out there in mm -hmm. Manila we're really sorry in <laughs> Manila, Manila celebrity land and it happens all the time so yeah like I'm used to it now. Like it, it's actually amusing for me because like mm. he stops with everyone. Like he'll take a photo with everyone. Aww, yes. Like and if mums want to kiss, like he'll just give them a kiss. It's actually kind of funny. Um, and he has some funny stories too. Um, you just have to get him on your podcast for them. <laughs> Wait, we so will. Yeah, what, we what, will. I mean, this is different. He he's he grew up here. He's yeah. a big actor. You're this Australian girl who loves numbers and coding how i mean what is it that made you guys fall in love what is it about him that got you i think it was i mean honestly like i don't know it's just everything he's just i mean like he's 
gorgeous. I'm gorgeous. <laughs> um, I like, I like, I'm very active. Like, I'm very, like, I love how convinced she's getting. Like, <laughs> Isn't that obvious? And you're like blushing. It's so cute. I'm, I'm very athletic and I like sports and he likes sports too. <laughs> so, like, the minute, of course, when he, like, asked me, just, like, taught me how to surf. When he pushed like, you. Oh, yeah. No, he did. <laughs> I said, like, go. And I was like, okay. <laughs> I was oh, like, wow. I'm in love. <laughs> and just like everything, like he's very willing to do stuff with me. Like I, he taught me how to surf. I taught him how to play soccer. So, um, and we do a lot. We work out together, like all the time. We run together. Um, I just, and he needs a goofball. Like he's, he really, he never takes anything too seriously. Which, um, yeah, that's good. Because you can't surf with like Nikki and Bougie and yeah. the that really is one of my favorite episodes. I just love how Kim gets so colleague and so swept off her feet talking about Jericho Rosales once again. They actually just got engaged. The reason why we showed that episode as well, not only being one of mine and Julie's favorite, is because Jericho Rosales is actually going to be on the Girls of 28A for season three. So that was a little teaser because we have a few questions to ask Kim, especially when Kim started talking about how she thinks he's the Brad Pitt of the Philippines and how he's a goofball and how he taught her to surf and all that kind of stuff. So we want to see his side of, of the love story and and ask him if he thinks he's got what it takes with Kim to make it last. Up next we've got the boys from the cave. Now this is a particularly funny one because it was the boys from the cave, there was two of them, there was Mark Nelson, there was Stephen Koo and we brought them on because we wanted to pick their brains about Asian stereotypes. So check this one out, it shows a bit of chemistry between Julia and I and with the boys and everything and for, uh, who is it? Who's missing from that one? It is Revilson, Fer Revilson Fernandez, and he will be on season three as well. So check this out. Yeah, they pick on you for just being you. You're the pedophile, <laughs> along with Rovi. Or Rovi's just stupid, apparently. <laughs> like the just uh, Mr. Egotistic. Yeah, like, well, oh, you know, I, I, think, know what? I, think, I think, that think the show, the reason why we were able to do the show as well is because we are also of that age where we've experienced a lot of things. I don't think younger guys could pull off a show like this because they can't talk about anecdotes or experiences mm -hmm. that can actually help people. Mm -hmm. So I think it helps that, you know, we pick on each other, but those reasons are the reasons why the show, I think, works or can work. Yeah. Mm. Having said that, there's, we have another clip where you guys are actually talking about being friend zone, which I loved because I think as a girl, we all have guy friends and we, we you know, Trish and I talk about this all the time. I'm, I'm on the side of where all guys want to sleep with you and then sometimes Trish no. is like, no. And then I have that's so many guys friends. Exactly. That's so not true. Let's watch this clip and see what, so what, what she said. <laughs> not true. So. <laughs> Uh, one of the greatest <laughs> philosophers of all time, oh, Chris uh, Rock. Chris Rock. Now, <laughs> he he stated women have uh, platonic friends, and that's fine. They they all have them. You know, the, you know, the, uh, I have a plat platonic friends. You know, they're my buzz. They're my best buzz. I can call them up to sh to shop with. They're my you know good friends. Guys, they don't have platonic friends. Their platonic friends are basically women they haven't fucked yet. Yeah. <laughs> so they're basically trying to fuck everybody. But like this one girl, they're trying to hook up with and they made a wrong turn somewhere and now they're yeah. in the friend zone they can't get out of it so do you agree with that and do you agree with that being a male and and especially in the club scene that you work with you see these types of males all the time i've, I've always believed that there's no such thing as uh, a guy girl best friend yes i agree with you I, yeah, yeah, I, because there's that I, sexual I, tension either, either there is that either you're gay sexual tension my best either friend is gay. an alpha male super straight guy he wants to fuck you i'm yeah. sorry oh I, my he God, wants no. to bang you I See, swear to you, you know, not, he, not, he won't try to, but yeah. he's attracted to you because you're an attractive girl. You know what? The, the best test is try to strip naked in front of him. If he doesn't do anything, I do. I change in front of him. And really? Wow. Can well, I be your friend? Not yeah, doesn't count. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, Bubbles, I would have fucked you if you stripped down. Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. I have tons of best guy hard. friends as well, but I have never changed. I love that Julie's not here and she can't tell me off because. Julia, you really whip some of our asses, some of our guests' asses when they come on by calling uh, 
Rovi Abimbo. Reveal said, when you come on the show, you have to stand up for yourself and you have to go head to head with Julia on this one because she really drilled you for not being here. Super. And also as well, the friend zone. If you guys want to watch that, watch the boys from the cave podcast. But today it's all about the girls of 28E and all the best of we. That was Bubbles Paddy. So she actually came on the show as well. She did dating in showbiz. So she gave us an insight on dating in showbiz. She has actually has never dated in showbiz before. You just have to check her out on our episode. If you want to check out any of our episodes, you can go to iTunes, download it for free. You can go to the NMF website. It's all of our past episodes are on there as well. Or you can go to YouTube as well. If you guys have any requests or anything, you can tweet us at the girls of 28A. Moving on to our best of for our season ender. Uh, I think I want to ask Julia what her favorite episode was, but we're going to go to a quick break. And when we come back, she's going to answer that question. Hi, they say nothing in this world is free. And for the most part, that's true. But here at NMF Network, all shows are indeed 100% free. And as an added feature, you have the option to subscribe to all your favorite programs, also at no charge. Why should you subscribe? By subscribing, you no longer have the hassle of delays when you stream the program. You also don't need to keep checking our site to see if your favorite programs are up because they'll automatically be uploaded to your device as soon as it's available. Here's how to do it. For those people with Apple mobile devices, First, you need to download the podcast app. Once you download the podcast app, open it, and you should be taken to the featured page. Now, you look for the store button. Hit the store button, and after doing that, hit the search button. Put your cursor on it and type New Media Factory. All our shows should automatically appear. Pick your favorite or favorites. Open it and hit subscribe. And that's it, you're done. Congratulations and welcome to the New Media Factory family. Welcome back to the Girls of 28A. I am Trisha Centenera and I am in the Beyond the Box studio in Manila all on my lonesome because Julia is still in LA. She'll be back in January. But Julia, what was your favorite episode of season two? I think my favorite episode of season two would probably have to be either Fabinho's because we just made so much fun of him and he was such a good sport. You know, we were playing all his videos of him singing really <laughs> amazingly and uh, just great sport or I don't know I actually really really like the episode where Mari, Trish and Veronica Mendez talk about cheating just because I wasn't in it so I really got to just enjoy watching the episode and plus I really think Mariana is really really funny <laughs> when she would look at the wrong camera because we used to do that too but it's nice to you know to, to know that we all make the same mistakes but uh trish what was your favorite episode i'm, I'm dying to know well my favorite episode were definitely the two episodes that that you said julia definitely the fabinho one and and definitely the one where we introduced mariana other one another one of mine would have to be as well Oh, it's so hard because there were so many good ones. But I think out of all the episodes, my favorite part of the Girls of 28A is actually, Julia, when you introduce guests and you have a very unusual sense of humor, which I've comment complimented you or put you down for many times on the Girls of 28A, just like this next clip. I want you to check this out because, guys, Julia... When she introduces people who she knows very well, and she's very good friends with, with Fabinho, she can sometimes make things seem like, I don't know, just watch this and check it out. <laughs> Hello, good night everyone. You are with the girls of 28A. I'm Julia Snigowski here with Trisha Centenera. Tonight we have a wonderful, a hot, hot spicy Latin guest with us tonight. He's a Japanese Brazilian model turned actor, singer, football player extraordinaire. And we are gonna be talking about metrosexual men. But first, before we get into metrosexuality, we are gonna be showing you some funny videos from YouTube just because we can. <laughs> Julie, when you go hot, sexy, 
her and him are like brother and sister, so for her to be saying that was a kind of a little bit strange for me. But anyway, that's just a little example of, of Julia and her funny sense of humour on the Girls of 28A. Clearly what I'm trying to do is entice our new viewers to watch some of our old episodes from season two and some of our old viewers, thank you for watching us, but also go back and view them. They're all there forever. Um, but this next clip is why we love Fabinho's episode. My How come goodness. I wasn't there? I don't know. <laughs> where, where I thought you guys there? were there, no? No. I'm you were never, there? No, I've never been. I've really? never been. Mm -mm. How come? You guys should go. You guys are going to have some fun, though. <laughs> like 100 guys is there, like, you know, rampa rampa, fashion show. Half of, the, half of them are naked, so. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, this year, if I join again, I make sure you guys are gonna watch this. I don't know if I can. We are getting all hot and heavy here on the Girls of 28A. We are gonna go to a very short break whilst Julia and I come down, pick ourselves up. Cool. <laughs> Pick ourselves up off the floor indeed. So guys, make sure you check out for Fabio Ides episode. I keep calling him Fabinho because it's his nickname, like calling when people call me Trishy. So watch the episode, you'll figure it out. It was such a great episode. A lot of our guests this season have been so great. They come on and it's really like sitting in our lounge room when we interview them. And we can really get them to say some things that maybe they probably shouldn't. So sorry to our guests, but yay for us for making you feel so comfortable. Our next clip is actually with Mari Jasmine. This was not so much an interview, but what we do on the Girls 28A is we also will have themes, themed episodes. This one was how to win back your ex. And we came up with this crazy list of sneaky ways and how you can win back your ex. Check this out. Well, he says he wants to be your boyfriend again. Listen to the stuff. I'm listening, sorry. It's just, it's hurting my ears though. I think I need a tissue. My ears are bleeding. Oh no. Okay, so there wasn't much showed on that one. My bad, I'm sorry. But check that one out. It's actually really funny. Julia and I go really head to head on that one because we had completely different sides and different opinions and, and everything. So. Do we have anything else? No, no, that's it. Okay, so I think we actually have a video from Julia. So back to you, Jules. Okay, guys, so I just want to say thank you for being with us during season two. We've really loved that you guys have, you know, seen us grow from the very beginning, and hopefully we have some new fans along the way. We love hearing from you, so do tweet us and email us. That's at thegirls of 28 a at gmail.com or at the girls of 28a we love hearing your feedback because some of you guys are so amazing so keep them coming and next week we will be ringing in season three with a very very special guest i'm actually quite excited so you guys are not going to want to miss that and also thank you guys for being so warm and welcoming of mariana as our new host so um Guys, it's been great. I, I miss everyone in the Philippines and all of our global viewers. I miss you, Trish. And um, I'm going to go back to writing about foreign policy. So uh, see you later. Okay. Oh, Julia, we miss you as well. I love that you're making all these little videos for, for us from your dorm room. But yes, guys, I just want to, before we wrap up i just want to thank all the guys from season two all of our guests kim jones the boys from the k fabio bubbles party iso lani pillinger mari jasmine patty grandage mariana hanud sean armenta nika mendez and once again guys season three will be bigger and better and julia will still be joining us by skycam and we have mariana hanud who is one of the brazil's next top models she is actually going to be joining us for the whole of season three. She was in our last episode. And as I said, again, she is gone because she's on a photo shoot and there's a picture of the hot babe there. I just want to thank Sean Armenta for all the photos that he does for us. Okay, so we're going to have one week off, but when we come back, you are going to have Julie Snagowski, Mariana Hanud, and myself, Trisha Centenera, interviewing our very first guest for season three. She is from Pinoy Big Brother. She is 
she has been called and titled from the boys from the cave, the pinup girl for lesbians. She is Divine Maitland Smith. Check this little clip out of her. Um, wow. Wow. <laughs> One word. It does um, not have to be, like, turn on can be anything. Okay, yeah. bums. I have a thing for asses. Wow. Mm, yeah. Really? What are you working with? <laughs> I don't have <laughs> one. <laughs> okay, so the guys asked her what turns you on. So, Divine, when you come on, we'll be asking you other questions. <laughs> Not like our brother podcast, which we feel like the K-Boys are like. But anyway, so we are the girls of 28A. Thank you so much for watching season two. We will be back for season three, as I said, with one week off. If you have any questions, please tweet us or email us at the girls of 28A. I am Trisha Centenera here in Manila. We will catch you guys soon.